Hi, it's uh, about um, half past ten in the evening on the 4th of uh, May. I uh, just um, thought I'd do a quick review of the PS and TS, uh, PS TX selections uh, so far this month. Um, I didn't get a chance to play any of the selections today uh, at all. Um, if you just look at the um, PS selections um, for uh, since the uh, 1st of May let's give you a, an idea of what the various colours um, mean um, the those um, race meetings and times which are coloured in orange um, denote uh, national hunt races um, the black ones denote flat races uh, what you see um, Brighton on the 2nd of the 5th, Brighton 1430s coloured in yellow. Um, that denotes um, a sprint race, so it's a five furlong or a six furlong race. It's obviously the name of the horse. Um, that's the pace rating which I've calculated myself. Um, in theory, obviously, the higher, uh, higher the rating more chance um, that it'll lead uh, on the website I just published the 60 plus selections for the purposes of the trial um, there are other selections between 40 to 60 which is shown here the, which on the paid service this is the uh, full results um, on the website you'll just see the 60 plus selections the green um, that's the uh, Straw number, stall number, uh, for the purpose of flat races, column F, um, light green, those highlighted light green uh, denotes that there may be uh, some advantage in the draw. So um, in the case of Otomo, uh, it was running in a sprint race, and I um, can't remember what it's five or six furlongs, but um, as I say, it was... Um, it was a favourable draw, and it did um, it did go on to win that race. Uh, if if the colour is um, turquoise uh, on on the stall um, number that on the stall number that would denote that the draw could be unfavourable. Again, it's it's fairly subjective the uh, uh, the the draw numbers, but um, just just a guide. It's just meant as a guide. So as I say, this um. The, those colour blue are, are just the races that, um, or the selections that I've managed to play. I don't, I don't get a chance to, um, uh, due to other commitments, to play every selection. Um, so, as I say, these are the ones that I've just managed to play. And when well, you see there's a video, that's ones where there's been there's a video of that race um, uh, on the U on my YouTube channel. So if we take today the fourth. As I say, I didn't um, get to play any races. Uh, there were three selections. Uh, two were were 60 plus, um, one flat race, and two uh, over the jumps. There were two jumps meetings today. Um, as I say, the first one, Russian reward, was um, was a failure. Uh, it did contract by 10%, um, so it may have been possible to get out for a scratch. I, I haven't seen the race, so uh, it would have been, in theory it would have been a scratch or a small loss, I guess. The other two selections. Um, Shanty Tiger and Talila Gold, uh, both uh, dobbed, i.e. Um, went down by more than 50% um, in running, so it, a profit could have been made with those. Just just on the column I, uh, the colours, the orange colour represents that the um, selection contracted by 50% uh, or more uh, in running, so um, that's gone down to 34% you see the first one Warwick George Herbert it's a massive price I didn't get to play that one unfortunately uh, went off at 436.95 uh, and it went down to 150 so it went down as far as 34.3% in orange the um, the green the green um, the light green selection uh, the uh, light green boxes show that it um, contracted by at least 20% but um, not more than 50% so as I say, that one went down to just under the um, 80% threshold.
so it's been all in all a fairly good month. It was only three that missed the um, only three that missed the threshold. Could probably have got out for a scratch with, with those, and um, a profit really probably could have failed to make a profit um, with with the majority of the others really. Um, so it's been a pretty good month uh, on those so far. Just, just going on to the TX selections, which um, uh, are also on the website. Those selections, um, as I said before, are not necessarily necessarily those which will uh, those horses which will make the pace uh, or lead in running, but those which um, generally do contract in, in price and generally travel well in running. So. Um, there's every opportunity that um, these selections will go down in price um, sometimes during the race. Obviously, if you're just starting out, it's better to practice with the PS selections. Um, it does take a little bit more experience to read the races. And again, it's a bit subjective as to um, how long you leave it and when when to get out. So um, if, you, if you're starting out and want to try it, then start with the uh, PS selections. On the TX selections uh, today, as I say, um, I didn't get to play it on the fourth. Um, it would have been a pretty good day. Uh, Orion's Mike, that um, ran se uh, finished second. Uh, Bet for SP of 11.56 uh, went down as um, 1.58. I haven't seen the race. Um, went down as far as 13.7%. So um, that must have run well and um, must have been a good chance of winning. Um, high aspirations that, that actually dobbed to went down to 50 percent and one boy on the flat down to 33.3 percent so um <laughs> unfortunately uh as i say i due to other commitments i couldn't play any today and um yeah, i would have made a profit no doubt if i had done sod's law but that's the way it is uh going back to early early in the month again it's been pretty good there's only two which probably have failed or a scratch possibly everything else um say so yeah, mostly uh, mostly have gone down by more than 50 percent um so I'd, rocky court i did a video of um little choose i did play made a profit on that one as well palisator um i did a video on and um i did make a profit that didn't only just went down to um 79.5 percent uh, just under the 20 percent uh, threshold and uh, didn't run that well but um so I still made a, a reasonably easy profit with that one as you can see on the video so um, you can see they don't have to necessarily run that well um you can still uh, in majority of cases uh, make a profit with them so i've, I've only got to play uh, three of these so, so far so far this month uh how you pronounce that Most Mostel Ricard. That was um, <laughs> a huge contraction. Um, unfortunately, I haven't managed to get on any any of those selections um, so far. Uh, you may note that there are some videos um, on the YouTube channel uh, of other selections which are not um, detailed on the TX or the PS. Uh, the reason for that is that um, on the paid service, there are four systems. Um, as I say that there's only the PS is just uh, is is the only uh, pace so, um, pace selections when when it's the only system where whereby we're expecting the horses to lead. The, um, the other two uh, systems that are not listed here are like the TX. They are similar, but uh, slightly different criteria. But um, I say those systems are those which um, we think are going to uh, travel well in running. So that's it, I think, for the time being. It's just a quick overview of how the results uh, are been going so far this month. Thanks.